hope you're focused. <laughs> um, good morning, guys. It is 9.36 on day two of the reading rush. Yeah, I woke up relatively early-ish and I watched some YouTube. Then I made breakfast and also gotten a head start on some laundry. So let's talk about the books I'm reading today. Um, so the first is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. The audiobook is like 7 hours and 45 minutes. I don't know if I'll be able to listen on double speed. Like I could get there with um, Pride and Prejudice and that's a classic, but I don't know. This is new to me, so you never know. Um, but reading alongside listening really does help me, so maybe I can get this done today. That'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I don't know if like I'll finish this and then have time to read someone's story if, or if I'll be reading this and then read someone's story like in between, um, just if this like gets too like dense or something, I don't know. And then also, surprisingly, last night, um, I got like randomly sucked in to the book I got for school. Um, and I think it, I got on uh, page 26. Um, and I like already started making some notes. Um, I don't know, it's just like interesting and I'm very nervous about my writing skills in general. Um, I suck at grammar. Like just specifically punctuation. That is one of the most difficult things for me actually. Um, just like when to use colons and semicolons and how many commas should I use because it's also like very fluid as far as the commas go and it's like can you please just like have a rule? <laughs> I'm also just not super confident in my essay writing skills and being an English major I'm probably gonna have to write a lot of those. So. Um, it's kind of fun reading this and feeling a little bit like calm <laughs> about some of the advice I'm getting. Just like, ah, okay, now I know. It's just something I read last night, so I figured I'd tell you. Oh, I forgot I had tea. Like a full glass of tea. It's like lukewarm, but I'm honestly okay with like cold tea. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird. Um, yeah, so, and I 
also just want my knee to feel better. Okay, so I am now 52% through someone's story and I'm liking it. We're learning a little bit more about the background lives of characters and it's interesting. I'm, I'm like seeing a lot of parallels to Perks of Being a Wallflower. Um, some obvious ones like the main love interest is named Sam. In Perks of Being a Wallflower, it's Sam. In uh, someone's story, it's Samantha. But um, And then there are just a couple things that are quite similar. But um, obviously, like, the core is different and the characters themselves are different. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I also don't really know how I feel about it yet. Like, it's interesting, but I'm not, like, hooked. Like, I want to know what happens, but I I don't know where I am yet. But yeah, so far I think it's good. I'm just, like, trying to figure out about it, you know? Um, yeah. I think once I've finished the book, it will be a lot easier to form an opinion. Um, sometimes there are just some books where you're halfway through and you're like, I don't know. I have not read any more of The Picture of Dorian Gray, but that's okay. I got some clothes in the mail. I did some clothes shopping um, because where I'm going to school, it gets a lot colder in the winter slash fall than it does here, um, and it gets colder earlier in the year. So I got some clothes that would be good for layering. I also got some more leggings because I wear leggings a lot practically live in them. They're comfortable. Yeah. Okay, so I haven't yet figured out why, but so I started reading this again and then I immediately got tired. <laughs> so I don't know why, because it's interesting. I'm finding it interesting. So I don't know why, like the second I start reading it, I don't want to fall asleep. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. I have a theory that maybe it's because the font is like so close together and so small. It's like tiring for my eyes or something. I don't know. Either way, it's annoying because this is a readathon. <laughs> and I would like to finish this at some point soon. <laughs> I'm thinking I might just stick to listening to the audiobook because I would really love to, well, like, take notes but I can't like stay awake so I'm gonna see maybe if the audiobook works like just the audiobook. Hi guys uh just doing a little check-in it is 11 35 p.m in <laughs> the picture of Dorian Gray I got to page 24 after I realized that it was making me fall asleep um which I still haven't quite figured that out yet I decided to like put it away for now I think I'm going to try to read it before bed because I have trouble falling asleep. And so if this helps, I'm okay with that. Um, so instead, I read someone's story, but um, my friends and I FaceTimed for a bit. So I think I could have finished it, but I didn't. <laughs> um, it's loading. I'm on page 256 out of 323 so less than 100 pages left which is cool um so far i still don't entirely know my opinions on it i'm enjoying it and i haven't found anything like inherently wrong with it for some reason i just it's not like hitting me as much like there were a couple emotional bits that were like mm, you know and then some lines that just really spoke to me but i just I'm not like getting it as much and so I don't know why that is maybe I just need to wait for the last less than 100 pages and like figure that out um I mean obviously I'm going to but yeah tomorrow I um am going to see if just listening to the audiobook of the picture of Dorian Gray makes me less tired because I have a feeling it might be the font on my iPad, I'm able to do the dyslexia font, which I think actually helps me read because um, I get letters and words confused a lot. And so it does help, 
Um, and I think when words are like so small, so close together, and this particular font, sometimes it's worse, it's like more bold, but this particular font, sometimes like just if it's done a certain way where there's like not enough spacing, it's really hard for me to read. So I'm wondering if that's what's like tiring me out. I am going to um, get ready for bed and then lay down and read a few sentences of the picture of Dorian Gray and hopefully pass out. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, I was really low energy today, and so it probably wasn't super entertaining, but um, hopefully things will be better tomorrow, and I will see you then.